the moment. Uh, Ian and I have just paced 25 paces from where the batsman would stand to where the wicketkeeper, Matthew Wade, was standing. Uh, it's a fair way back for Mitchell Stark. Um, Michael Clark's at first slip, Ian Chappell at second slip, and Mark Taylor at third slip. And we're going to talk about the catching over the last two days and begin, Mark, with Usman Khawaja. Well, Usman Khawaja, uh, probably a couple of years ago, was not a great fieldsman. And he's probably not a great fieldsman now, but he's certainly a fieldsman who's improving. He's copped some criticism for being a very good batsman, but not necessarily a great catcher. And I think he's working on it. And you'll see he took two, he actually took three catches yesterday. Firstly, as uh, Ali low at, uh, at third slip, moving to his left. And his movement and his setup in particular is the key and what I want to talk about today, the way he's moving to his left. Uh, he also took one a bit later on in the evening, a bit higher, once again moving to his left. But just what, watch what he does here in the lead up. That positioning of his hands and then the movement, I think that's what's made him a much better catcher. And no doubt, I think with the Australian fielding coach, Greg Blewett, and probably Steve Smith alongside him, they've been working particularly hard on his catching. What I like, what he does now, he, he used to sort of, I think, stand in a position a bit more on his heels and in that position, which is relaxing, but not necessarily very good for moving. What he does now, he's made a slight adjustment. He's got the feet a little bit closer together and he's got those knees in. And as the ball is being bowled, he does that, which what Mark War used to do a lot of. Just do that. So it's almost like a trigger movement and he's now getting ready for something that's coming his way. So if he gets an edge to his left, he's in that position to move rather than in a position where he's back on his heels and having to go one hand. He took two really good catches yesterday by giving and going with the ball. I think if I'm looking at one thing he could do a bit better is he took a couple, or well, the second one he took there, and his hands were going up, which suggests to me it rushed him a little bit because he had to do that. What he could continue to work on is actually letting it go a bit further and catching it there, a bit like what we saw Steve Smith do yesterday. But there's no doubt Usman Khawaja is working on being a better fieldsman, and it's going to be good for him and I think good for the Australian cricket team. OK, good, thank you. Uh, Steve Smith as against Azza Ali. Yeah, Steve Smith, well, he's a natural slip fielder. He looks to me like a guy who's been taught from a very young age, fielded in the slips a hell of a lot. He's beautifully balanced and his technique. And his technique yesterday, that turning side on, is very important. The, the hardest catch you can get in the slips is one that's nicked to you, it's rising, and it comes to about that chest height, and it's coming fast. The reason why it's awkward is if you try and catch it like that, a couple of things. Your elbows are jammed in, you've got no give. It's like hitting a brick wall. The other thing is it's just between that height of fingers down, fingers up, and you're likely to get caught with your fingers pointing straight out. That can be a broken finger. So we saw the two different methods. Firstly, you had Steve Smith. It was on his right-hand side, and he turned the body. It was Actually, it was straight at him, and he turned the body. So if you okay, want to... Let's go with Steve Smith yep. first. Right. Not he's, the best throw. Yeah, no. So he's turning to get the body out of the way. So your arms are now free and your hands in a very good position. You haven't got the fingers pointing at the ball. Let's now you've got Uzza. He, he doesn't turn. That is really awkward. Even there, it just feels awkward because you're jammed and it hit really hard and you saw the ball pop a little bit in my hands. It's, it's just an awkward position. So if you throw on the left, Mark... So you turn on the left, the same thing as you turn on the right. But Steve Smith, excellent technique. Azhar Ali, he needs some work. Great. Love it. So just a little turn. Actually, one other question, yeah. the footwork. Yeah, just the foot turns, just slightly there, and then you balance. Now, if it's really wide, you're in a good position to dive, and you're actually diving, not falling. If you don't turn your foot, all you're doing is falling. Great. All right. We'll go to Matt Renshaw, who was impressive. Uh, we also saw Asad Shafiq take a good catch. Matt caught one at first slip low, and Asad Shafiq high. Are there any complications? Firstly, Michael, what, what position are you in? Where's your weight, for Well, example? I think no different to second or third slip. You want, your, your, you want to be balanced. I think fielding in the slips is very similar to batting. A lot of it is from waist down. It's your legs that do majority of the work. So you've got to get yourself into a balanced position, evenly on both feet. But if you're falling at all, you're trying to come forward to the ball. And you look at Matt Renshaw there, nice and low. He's quite a tall man. That's a really tough catch to get yourself down low. So it's important you start down there. Start in a low position because it's easier to come up than it is to go back down. Matt Renshaw's got really good hands. Spoke to the boys earlier, the Australian team, and they said he doesn't drop many catches even at training. 
I mean, you look at Shafiq here, that's the other thing about fielding in first slip, especially at the Gabba. You've got to be able to do both. You've got to be able to catch him below your knee, and you've got to be able to get up off the ground and catch him above your head. So you've got to be in a good balance position where you've got f flexibility to go low. Right. You lower. Ooh. That's the one. There you go. That's it. So and, then, down. and then in the same breath, you need to have the power in your legs, and that's weight, to get yourself up. Lift yourself up, up off the ground for the catches that are above your head. And you probably get more of those at the Gabba than, say, the Adelaide Oval. Because here you've got more pace, more bounce, and it's a consistent wicket. So I think fielding in slips at the Gabba is probably the most comfortable you get around Australia.